Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Garden Rudiments. I wanted to show you today the difference between a healthy Crassula watch chain and an unhealthy. So this is a healthy watch chain and you can see the new growth on the tips. I've had this one about three weeks now and this is in a planter that I'm gonna give to a friend for Christmas and it's already put on new growth and it's very healthy. And you can see the little chains are tight and compact they're not stretched they're very healthy and there's no browning at the base of it so go to this watch chain and you can see how stretched out the little chains are um, there's a lot of brown at the base of it and it looks very unhealthy so I bought two of these I've got that one and another so I've come in and I've watered the root ball very well and then let it drain and I've put them under my grow lots and because I know that this one is doing well under the grow lots I put it in the same position lots are the same height and then I'm gonna let these grow a while, and then if I need to cut off and just propagate from the fresh new growth, that's what I'll do. Uh, I've only had the one plant of these, so I don't know what's gonna happen to the brown, if it's just, if I just need to, I figure all that's just gonna fall off. But these are very easy to propagate. Just cut it like right here at the base. Cut it and stick it in dry soil mix give it a day or two and then water and keep them watered keep them in good indirect light or even indirect sun if they're used to that and then you should get a more tight green plant like this one and this is one of the the planters that I made from a lot of my cuttings that I got from Mountain Crest Gardens and the watch chain, I actually bought at Home Depot in Murfreesboro, but you can see just how pretty it is and how well it is growing. So while we're here, we'll just give you an update on those planters. All of the Echeverias in the planters have put on roots now. They're in there firmly, everything is growing. They're all very healthy looking. So I've got Echeveria Lola, those are about the only um, three that I could recognize right off. Let's see. It's over back. The other Lola's in the corner. But you can see they're all just doing so well. And I like the watch chain there as my centerpiece for my height. I think it looks really good. But I think, um, I think I'll be very happy with these watch chains. I was planning on taking some cuttings from this one before I give it to my friend just so I'll have some to propagate. But now that I've got these, more likely they will just be propagation plants. And that's what I do for a lot of mine. If they don't look just really good, you can just see how stretched out those leaves are on those chains. And these were down under a shelf. That's where they had been stored. So the, that's what I do for a lot of them. You know, if, if the plant still looks good, as far as it's got some healthy leaves, I'll buy it and then just propagate from it. And that's what I'm going to do with these. And you can see where they're under my grow lots. Okay, thank you for watching today. And I hope you'll come back and visit again. And I hope you'll hit that like and subscribe button so you'll see more of my content as I post. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next time on Garden Rudiments.